How is Makima still alive? Up oh, Wedding Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Chainsaw Man Chapter 87. So, last chapter, um, after a really weird date, you know, uh, Chainsaw Man, aka Pachita, because let's be real, Pachita has taken back control. It's just chilling, minding his own business, and then we see Makima and her new group of simps, and I'm just like, wait a minute, didn't she get eaten by Chainsaw already? She should be, she should not be here. Like, what the fuck is going on? How is she defying this? I'm so confused. Anyway, let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week, and this chapter is titled Chainsaw Man versus the Horrifying Weapon, uh, Weapon Humans. They are not humans, devils, or fiends. The name that referred to them was eaten by you and erased. Yet, somehow their existence was not. Of the many names you've consumed, they are the sole... Wait, they are the sole exception? Wait, what? Do you remember? You fought the weapon devils and the four horsemen who are now here. At the height of the battle, you vanished before our eyes. Wait, what? It makes sense that we couldn't find you even with all our searching. You were living in a completely changed near-death form. But now we're finally reunited. Chainsaw Man, let's bring this long bow to an end. Public si Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? I am just... What? What? And also, like... I have to say this, because this has been really bugging me. Why can't Makima be more like Mahito? Why? I don't get it. Like, cause I have to say this right now. And I, I think, I, and I've been saying it in my Jujutsu Kaisen videos, because it's been bugging the fuck out of me, is that Mahito is basically tr trying to do the same thing that Makima has done to, um, uh, to Denji, but, like, Mahito is just having fun, and he is not, like, a cold heart. He's not being a cold-hearted asshole. He's been, he, yeah, he's being an asshole, but he's being a lovable asshole. I just, oh, I just don't get it. Oh, it's frustrating me. Anyway, let's keep going here. Public Safety Devil Extermination Special Division 5 commence the operation. Why? Why you doing? What, what's with the mind fuck? Like, I thought what freaking Yuji did in Hell's Paradise Shigakuraku was a mind fuck, but at least that made more sense than this shit. Oh my god, if you have not seen the mind fuck in that manga, oh god, that shit is a huge mind fuck. Oh my god. This is. I can't believe what the fuck. What the fuck is going on in here? Whoa, but I do like these designs. Holy shit. These weapon, these designs are just, oh my God. Holy shit. This, oh man. I'm telling you, I, I know a lot of people are saying, when's Chainsaw Man getting adapted? You do not want Chainsaw Man getting an anime adaptation. You don't. The reason being is it will get censored to fucking hell. It will. Woo! This is looking slate. This is looking sleek. Oh, gosh. Would I say this building destruction is on par with Gay Gay's? Um, that we saw recently in the Sukuna fight? It's up there. I wouldn't say it's... It, I would say it's really close. Because remember, if, for those of you that have read, uh, haven't read Jujutsu Kaisen, oh man, there was a uh, there was a really, really beautiful battle um, between Sukuna and this amazing summon. It was like OP as shit. And um, the building destruction was just so smooth and fluid. It's going to be hard to top that. This is pretty, this is really close to being up there, though. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's, I don't think it's better than Gay Gay's, though. Gay Gay's was just epic as fuck. Oh, my God. I'm telling you, if you have not read Jujutsu Kaisen or not caught up on that manga, go fucking read it. Woo, look at that shit. This is, 
this is beautiful though. I I will give you credit for uh, give Fujimoto credit where credit is due. This art I will uh, I got to say this. Chainsaw Man's art has gotten so much better. The bow art looks so much better than it did in the beginning. Oh my god, it looks so much better. Man, this is looking nice. It's looking nice. Woo! Yeah, you... Yeah, keep trying. Keep trying, asshole. Keep trying. Yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna get your ass decapitated. That's what's gonna happen. Stupid fuck. Okay, this looks unwinnable. Well, no shit, Makima! What'd you fucking think? You s God. You dumb... I can't stand this bitch. Why can't she be more like Mahito? What is it with these bitches? I don't get it. These women are just like so fucking cold-hearted and bitchy. Like... What happened to the, like, the more fun, psychotic, sadistic bitches? I don't get it. Like, I saw, there was one in, like, because I'm catching up with Kakiguri Twin. I'm waiting for Kakiguri Twin to release one, for one chapter at a time for Kakiguri Twin to release, and then I'll start covering it. And, let's be real, Kakiguri has sadistic women up in there. And they are fun, and they are, are villainous, and it's just like, yeah, this, example of Kakiguri in general. Karari. Karari is that bitch. She is having fun. She's a bitch. She is manipulative. She's sadistic. Um, she's trolling. That, and you, and you, can, you can like her and you can enjoy her villainy. Like, Makima, Makima's just a bitch. I, I can't stand her. I, she's not, she's like, she's just cold-hearted and I want to punch her and yeah you want that in a villain sure you do but for as for for me like I've been enjoying a lot of these villains I really do I love my I love when the villains are just having fun being sadistic assholes I want more sadistic assholes give me more of that I don't like these cold-hearted assholes they're not fun I want fun villains. I want villains to, uh, that I want. I want likable villains. I want likable sadistic assholes that you can hate and like. But man, I can't wait to, to it's just making me excited to cover Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> to be honest. But man, Fujimoto, like, this, I know this, I know Fujimoto's, because I've read Fire Punch, and Fire Punch got way too weird for me. I covered a couple of chapters of it, and I just was like, this is getting way too, uh, uh, way too weird for me. And uh, and that's saying a lot, and I dropped it. Fujimoto's work is weird, and it is a mindfuck. And yeah, Chainsaw Man is getting into that mindfuck category. And I don't know how to feel about this, to be honest. This is weird. I, I, don't, I don't understand the logic of this. Like... But this isn't like this isn't like Hell's Paradise Shikakaraku where we are getting like completely mind fucked and it's just it's just a complete insanity and you know it the way it's explained just makes sense and in the case of Chainsaw Man yeah we got oh, let's be real we've gotten mind fucked by this manga and the way and a lot of the shit that we have gotten mind fucked by this manga it does make sense. But this doesn't. I'm sorry. Fujimoto, this mindfuck does not make sense to me. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Gins Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Chainsaw Man content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.